Hi, I'm Amma reporting for Kids First, and today I'll be reviewing the Garfield movie. I have always loved all things Garfield, so I was expecting to love the Garfield movie. And I do. The film remarkably captures the essence of Garfield, and I couldn't think of a better movie to bring Garfield back to the big screen where he belongs. It's an amazing movie with an amazingly talented star-studded cast. The story follows Garfield, Chris Pratt, who has an unexpected reunion with his long-lost father, Vic, Samuel L. Jackson, one jinx. Hannah Waddingham, the movie's crazy eventual antagonist, kidnaps both Garfield and his fellow pet Odie, Harvey Gillen. Jinx forces the two of them from their perfect, marred only by Mondays, pampered, luxurious lives, into joining Vic in a high-stakes heist as revenge against Garfield's father. The plot is tied in with so much humor and so many plot twists, overall making it a fun family comedy. Chris Pratt's voice suits Garfield perfectly, and he brings the right attitude and edge to the character. Samuel L. Jackson wonderfully conveys emotion into Vic, so as a viewer, you really end up feeling for him. And Hannah Waddingham is outstanding as Jinx. She voices Jinx's maniacal and flamboyant, but she also brings heart and soul to her character, making viewers sympathize with Jinx's motivations. Hannah Waddingham has two songs in this movie, an original called I'm Back, which rolls over the end credits, and a rendition of the French nursery rhyme Allo et tu gentil Alloueter, the latter of the two being my favorite Jinx scene in the film. The Garfield movie is really funny. Cats always land on their feet, so of course, Garfield is the exception. And I especially like the parts with John Nicholas Holland. And by the way, who knew cats could do puppy eyes? I do feel like there's a huge effort to make Garfield more modern in this movie. There are lots of pop culture references. In some cases, it's done very well. The Great Catsby, Romeo and Juliet, Catflix. There's a hilarious scene between Garfield and Otto of Bing Rings. But the movie overdoes this. Garfield calls himself G-Money and makes Shark Tank references. And the Garfield movie has a huge fixation on mobile devices. The film loses out on a very important nostalgic aspect of the film by attempting to adjust Garfield to better match the present day audience. Garfield is cynical. He's funny. He's relatable. He makes witty observations. He's loved by modern kids and the modern audience not because he has a phone. They change Garfield in this movie, from things like this to changing his backstory. Originally, John adopts Garfield, or as Garfield would say, he adopts John in a pet shop. In this movie, that's not at all how Garfield and John meet. Also, there was never a villain the same way there is in this movie. There was never someone truly evil. That was part of the charm of Garfield. Sure, he had some crazy adventures, but he was always based in real life. Have you ever been kidnapped by a failed America's Next Top feline who, by the way, is British and then jumped on a moving train and then attempted to steal at least 1,675 quarts of milk from an extremely overprotected dairy farm? No. His adventures were always somewhat relatable. The show was about Garfield, his owner John, and his fellow pet Odie. There was no crazy vengeful villain or cross-country adventure. So yes, this movie is very, very different. But that is not a bad thing. I love how this movie flushes out Garfield's character and gives us a deeper look into his inner workings. It's not everyday things like trying to win a free pizza or trying to open a can of food while John is away. It goes into Garfield's family life, Garfield's relationships, Garfield's idea of self-worth. And I think that's really nice. As Garfield's creator Jim Davis says, Garfield is a human being in a cat suit. The film does an amazing job of flushing out his character and I really enjoy seeing it. Yes, his adventures are significantly wilder, but that just makes them more fun to watch. The message of the Garfield movie revolves around the importance of family and connection. It explores themes of sacrifice, the unseen presence of love, how misunderstandings can change your whole worldview, and the deep, sometimes hidden bonds that define family. I gave the Garfield movie 4.5 out of 5 stars and recommend it for ages 2 to 18, plus families, as well as all fans of the lovable cat. Look out for the Garfield movie, which opens in theaters May 24th, 2024. I'm Alma reporting for Kids First. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to ring that notification bell so that you never miss one of our reviews or interviews. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.